European Parliament and the OSC Office for Democratic Institutions and Human Rights. The quality of the elections reflected the trends we noted during the pre-electoral period, including questions about impartiality of state institutions. We were concerned about hate speech against civil society and dissenting opinions triggered by the controversial law on transparency of foreign influence. During our observation, we noted cases of vote buying and double voting before and during elections, especially in rural areas. We experienced two different worlds, one inside polling stations, where the voting process was in general well administered, and one outside the polling stations. The presence of cameras of the ruling party in the polling stations and people in front of polling stations tracking and possibly controlling voters led widespread climate of pressure and party organized intimidation and the feeling of Big Brother is watching you as one of our observers depicted it. Uneven playing field and the deficiencies we just noted in the election process undermine the trust, its outcome and its fairness. During the electoral campaign, the ruling party used anti-Western and hostile rhetoric targeting Georgia's democratic partners, in particular the European Union, its politicians and diplomats, promoted Russian disinformation, manipulation and conspiracy theories. Paradoxically, the government further claimed that it was continuing Georgia's European integration. That help or hinder Georgia's return to its there were reports of misuse of public resources and administrative capacity for the benefit of the ruling party. Pressure exerted on civil servants to participate in campaign events and vote. We were alerted by various interlocutors about confiscation of identification documents. There were examples of institutions such as the newly established Anti-Corruption Bureau being instrumentalized for political purposes during the campaign. All the above measures taken together paint a clear picture of a sophisticated, widespread and well-orchestrated scheme. Of possible uh, interference uh, in the election. So Our European Parliament teams witnessed in some precincts high tension, confusion and chaos. In one case, ballot box stuffing physical assault on observers attempting to report on violations, observer and media removal from polling stations, tearing up observers' complaints, intimidation of voters inside and outside of polling stations, presence of multiple party-affiliated observers posing as citizen observers. Furthermore, voting secrecy was not always assured. So it was in September. And in particular, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Russian...